I'm Jesse Jackson, and this is your Look News 411. Well, leading off, Saratoga Mayor Joanne Yepsen held a town hall meeting last night. Many topics were discussed in the first town hall meeting since Mayor Yepsen took office. However, the biggest issue covered was the Spa City Recycling Plant. Many residents want to see the facility go somewhere else. Resident Frank Capone says, when you're not living next to a junkyard, things will improve. And the City Council is discussing a land swap that would move the recycling plant to another location and turn the current space into a parking lot. The parking lot would help businesses in the Arts District. Mayor Yepsen will hold town hall meetings quarterly. And the Queensbury School District will be facing difficult decisions regarding its budget. As we reported last week, the district is facing a $750,000 gap in next year's budget. Even with a tax increase, the district would fall short. A tax increase would mean 12 to 15 layoffs would occur. Without the increase, up to two dozen layoffs could occur. And John DeSanto, Assistant Superintendent for Business, said, there's nothing we can do to maintain our current programs without exceeding the tax cap. Queensbury has recently given advance notification to those who may be affected by the cuts. The arrest rate in Saratoga went up 15% last year. The Department of Public Safety's annual report showed that there were nearly 1,200 arrests in 2013, about 150 more than 2012. However, compared to other areas in the county, the crime rate is still low. Police Chief Greg Veach said, that major crimes, which are the ones that have to be reported to the FBI, dropped and the amount of burglaries dropped from 2012 to 2013. However, DWI arrests were up significantly. More arrests were made in 2013 than any other year. Veach did say that over the 14 years, the crime rate has remained stable. And you can join me here each and every night with the stories that matter to you.